Where is gluten found in schools and how to prevent exposure? As you know by now, gluten is a protein found in wheat, rye, and barley. While it's most commonly found in food, gluten is also used in many school supplies such as modeling clay, paper mache, art supplies, glue, and ingredients used in home economics classrooms. This video highlights common places for gluten cross-contact in learning environments and presents strategies to mitigate the risk of gluten exposure for children with celiac disease. At the end of this video, viewers will be able to identify common school supplies that contain gluten, describe two strategies to reduce the risk of gluten exposure for a child with celiac disease, and explain at least two ways to adapt a learning activity for a child with celiac disease. Let's get started. At first I thought that gluten was only in food, but now I know that it's in a lot of other things too, like Play-Doh and paper mache. It's also used in cooking classes and sometimes science projects. Gluten is found in many places in learning environments. It's very important to be able to easily identify gluten-containing foods and materials and develop a plan for a child with celiac disease so that they can participate in every activity. The most obvious sources of gluten in a learning environment are food-based activities or eating spaces like the cafeteria or classroom. Most early childhood classrooms offer children a snack during the day. There is the risk of cross-contact or ingestion in several places though. Surfaces that have touched gluten-containing foods or materials. Other students touching the gluten gluten-free food after touching gluten-containing foods. The child with celiac disease eating gluten-containing foods from a classmate or being served the wrong food. To prevent ingestion or cross-contact, consider cleaning all table surfaces well, using an approved cleaning solution before children eat. All children should wash their hands with soap and water before eating. This is a good hygiene practice, as well as a method to prevent gluten exposure. If soap and water is not available, use wet wipes. Do not use hand sanitizer, as hand sanitizer does not remove gluten. Do not allow food sharing. Take this as an opportunity to educate students in the class about why sharing food could make their friends sick. If snack foods are supplied by parents, please ask them to supply foods that meet the nutritional needs of all students in the class. This is easily accomplished by asking the parents to supply fresh fruits and vegetables, rice or corn-based cereals, string cheese, veggie straws, or veggie chips and popcorn. Always double check ingredients on food items served to a child with celiac disease to confirm the product is gluten free. Holidays, award ceremonies, and birthday parties are exciting times in most classrooms. Please work to include all students in these celebrations by planning ahead to either have gluten-free options available or remove all food from these events. Here are some ideas to foster inclusivity. Work with class parents to build inclusive events. Start with education. Let the parents know how important it is to include all students in every activity. Plan food-free celebrations. Make suggestions like colorful pencils, fun-shaped erasers, stickers, or even craft kits instead of food to be included at these events. My favorite non-food item to share with my classmates for a celebration is slime, and mine is squishies. Gluten-free treats are delicious too. Ask class parents to send in pre-packaged, naturally gluten-free treats like ice pops, lollipops, or fruit snacks. My favorite gluten-free food item to share with my classmates for a celebration is cupcakes. And mine is cake pops. If gluten-containing foods are used in a classroom celebration, please offer the child with celiac disease a gluten-free alternative. Perhaps a gluten-free cupcake or a gluten-free cookie. Please keep these items stored in a freezer at your institution just in case a situation comes up last minute. For classroom celebrations where gluten is present, please ensure that all tabletops and classroom surfaces are thoroughly cleaned before and after the celebration. Keep gluten-free foods separated from gluten-containing foods to prevent cross-contact. Do not put gluten-free food on a buffet line or potluck table where kids serve themselves. This will inevitably lead to cross-contact. Make sure gluten-free food is clearly labeled to avoid confusion. Serve gluten-free food first with clean utensils. Food services in cafeterias and eating spaces. Food is the most common source of gluten. In school cafeterias, you'll likely find sandwiches, pasta, chicken nuggets, pizza, cookies, brownies, and lots of other kids' food that contain gluten. 
A child with celiac disease cannot eat most of these foods unless they are specifically made to be gluten-free. Children typically eat at least one meal a day at the learning institution that they attend. There must be protocols in place to ensure the safety of a child with celiac disease. Please recognize that learning institutions must dedicate resources to setting up gluten-free protocols for these children to eat at school. For detailed information on providing gluten-free foods in cafeterias and other eating spaces, please watch the Providing Gluten-Free Food Service training videos where we will go into great detail to keep children with celiac disease safe. Field trips happen in most learning environments. These are exciting adventures where students get to learn in real-world environments outside of a traditional classroom. However, they can be anxiety-provoking for students with celiac disease and their parents, as they must find ways to prevent gluten exposure outside of their comfort zone. Here are some tips to ensure a safe and fulfilling experience. Plan field trips well in advance to ensure that accommodations can be made for the child with celiac disease. This may include involving the parents or guardians in the planning of the activities. Invite the parents or guardians to chaperone the field trip. Avoid activities that involve gluten, like a bakery or a pizza place. If a bakery or other food producing venue is the main attraction of the field trip, pick one that offers gluten-free options. If traveling overnight, verify that all hotels, restaurants, or other eating venues are able to safely accommodate the gluten-free diet. Share menus with parents and guardians to help choose appropriate foods for the child. If the parents or guardians of the child with celiac disease are not chaperoning the field trip, ensure that attending chaperones are trained and familiar with the safety needs of the child with celiac disease. While many learning activities involve paper, pens, and pencils, there are lots of lessons where gluten-containing materials are used. Teen mentors from the Celiac Disease Program at Children's National Hospital are going to help explain some of these activities and how to modify them to be safe for children with celiac disease. Hi, I'm Anna, and I have celiac disease. I'm Dana, I also have celiac disease. And today we're gonna to talk to you about some ways to make class projects safe for kids with celiac disease. The moldy bread experiment is wildly popular in science classrooms to illustrate how germs are present when hands and surfaces are not properly cleaned. Typically, classes use gluten-containing bread and rub the slices on hands, tables, chairs, the floor, laptops, keyboards, books, cell phones, toilet seats, and many other surfaces in the classroom. Rubbing gluten-containing bread on these surfaces poses a severe risk of gluten exposure for a child with celiac disease if all items are not cleaned properly. The good news is that there are other ways to learn the same lessons without smearing gluten all over the school. One example is Glow Germ Gel. It comes in a convenient kit to paint a child's hands. The kit also comes with a UV light to see where the gel is transferred and how thorough the child is while washing their hands. Another option is the Glitter Germ Experiment. Children can rub their hands with lotion and then sprinkle glitter on them to illustrate germs on their hands. Then they can practice hand washing by using different techniques to illustrate the effectiveness of the washing. Try out soap and water, rinsing with water alone, using a wet wipe, and rubbing with sanitizer. The kids will be surprised at the difference. Both of these alternative options are naturally gluten-free and still achieve the same learning objective in the classroom. Another fun experiment for kids to try at home is the solar oven experiment. It's a project that lets kids learn about the power of sun rays and how heat from the sun can cook food. Most instructions for this project recommend using a used pizza box to house this project and cooking items like a grilled cheese sandwich or s'mores. There are multiple areas of concern for a child with celiac disease. First, there is a significant risk for being exposed to gluten from the box since it's likely that the box previously housed gluten-containing pizza. Next, the food items that cooked inside of the box will also likely contain gluten, for example, s'mores or grilled cheese sandwiches. Don't worry though, it's easy to do this project in a safe, gluten-free way. Go to your local pizzeria and ask for a pizza box and make sure that it's clean and has not been used. If s'mores are on the menu, purchase gluten-free graham crackers for the child with celiac disease and make sure that they have their own clean box. Handle all of the gluten-free items first or don't allow anyone to touch the box with the gluten-free food in it except for the student with celiac disease. This will ensure that no cross-contamination occurs. It will also make sure that you have a good fun time. Paper mache is made with wheat flour and water and it gets everywhere. It's so sticky. So, it is definitely an unsafe project for a gluten-free child. However, there are safe gluten-free alternative recipes you can use instead. Try making the paste using cornstarch or rice flour, salt, and water. You will get a very sticky paste, but it will be safe for everyone. 
Every child makes macaroni art at some point in childhood. However, for a gluten-free child, the prospect of gluing or stringing together gluten-containing pasta can cause a lot of anxiety when they know it can make them sick. Instead of using gluten-containing pasta, try some naturally gluten-free options like dried beans, rice, quinoa, colorful lentils, or even gluten-free pasta. Early childhood and preschool programs use sensory tables to encourage fine motor skill development and fun for little kids. Some kids say they even learn to count using objects found in the sensory table. The problem is that many of the objects in these tables, like Fruit Loops, Oats, and Pasta, are not gluten-free. Little kids are more likely to put objects and their hands in their mouths and could become very sick if the items contain gluten. The good news is that there are millions of gluten-free options, like rice or beans, but you could also totally eliminate food and instead use marbles, water beads, feathers, pipe cleaners, pom-poms, or shaving cream. Home economics or family and consumer science classes are some of the best classes you get to take. They give you real-life skills and are fun too. But for kids with celiac disease, they can be a big source of gluten exposure or a time they are left out completely because there aren't any gluten-free options. It's not that hard to build an inclusive family and consumer science curriculum that includes all kids. Start by selecting naturally gluten-free recipes. If there are recipes that contain gluten, substitute a gluten-free alternative like gluten-free flour, pasta, or pizza crust for the child with celiac disease. Talk to the family about who will supply these materials. In some cases, the family may want to bring in their own supplies. If there is gluten being used in the same classroom, set up a dedicated gluten-free cooking station. Allow the child with celiac disease to work with a partner who is willing to use the gluten-free products as well, so no one is isolated or alone. Shared pots, pans, cutting boards, and utensils can be safely used by students with celiac disease. However, they must be scrubbed thoroughly with soap and water before use. Please use the same level of cleaning that you would use to clean kitchen utensils that have touched raw chicken. The same level of diligence will remove gluten. If you're baking, set up the gluten-free baking station at least six feet away from a gluten-containing baking station. A study in the UK looked closely at bakeries and found that six feet is the magic number to prevent flying flour from contaminating gluten-free foods. Six feet to prevent COVID-19 and six feet to prevent flying flour too. But there are lots of ways to keep kids like us with celiac disease safe. Here are a few more general tips to keep in mind. Always check ingredients labels. You're looking for wheat, rye, and barley. Certain products like glue and yeast might contain gluten, so check even products that you think won't contain gluten. Plan ahead as much as possible when using food in a project, and try to use natural gluten-free foods, or select gluten-free foods for the entire class. Don't forget to clean before and after projects. This is just good hygiene and it keeps kids with celiac disease safe. Thanks for doing so much to help kids with celiac disease. Thanks, Thanks so, so much, much for, for helping, helping us, us to keep safe, safe and, and included. included.